Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to share with you a very cool trick uh, for a very unique situation. Uh, let me explain to you the use case. So here I have a Microsoft team and obviously Microsoft Teams. And essentially I have a few channels here, a few standard channels, and I have a private channel and a shared channel. And each of those channels, I have a few documents, all right? So if I click on the files tab, you will notice that I have a few documents, you know, different documents in uh, different types of channels that I have here, all right? And now I want to search all of these channels at once. So essentially, I want to find the files located in any of those channels. How do we do that? Well, normally, normally, uh, you would obviously search in Microsoft Teams, right? So for example, if I want to search for something, in this case, obviously files, I click, you know, the keyword, click on the files tab, but because it gives me results from all these different teams, uh, I only want to search this particular, uh, essentially team. And now it essentially rolls up all the files from all those different channels uh, on the screen. So you can see it found some in this private channel, it found some in this general standard channel and so on. But here is a scenario. Uh, you know what? I really want to search for files from SharePoint side of things. Because when I search it here, I have to click on all of those different tabs and filter it further. I really want to create a nice experience from SharePoint. But here is an issue. From SharePoint side of things, we don't have just one site where we execute the search. Because remember, here I have a mix of standard channels and private channel and the shared channel. So this translates to multiple sites in SharePoint. So here is the parent site uh, that essentially is part of Microsoft Teams. That's where the standard channels are. And then here I have a site, a separate site that was created for a private channel. And here is a site that was created for a shared channel. So essentially all my documents are now located on three different sites. How do we search them all? Well, let me show you the trick and I'll show you something actually nice happening when you use that trick. So in order for us to search all the sites at once, we need to create a hub because by default, if you notice, right, each site has its own search box, but it only searches essentially the documents on this particular site. So once again, if I navigate, for example, to the private site, uh, the private channel site, once again, if I uh, you know, do a search, it will only show me results from that particular private channel site. I want to search it all across you know, these three sites in our case. So here's what we need to do. We need to utilize the hub functionality. What we need to do is navigate to the admin center, and obviously you need to be a SharePoint admin to do that. And essentially next, we just click on the SharePoint admin center. And once that loads, uh, let's navigate to the site and we need to find our site over here. All right, and it shows me it has uh, essentially uh, two you know, Teams uh, sites as well, the private channel site and shared channel site. Uh, but let's go ahead and instead of looking at them, what we're going to do is register this parent site as a hub. All right, so uh, let's leave the name alone. That's totally fine and let's click save. But here is something cool that will happen once you register a site as a hub. So let me refresh my screen here. I'm on my parent site. Uh, look at this. The hub was created, right? We got that hub navigation menu. But usually what you need to do when you register a site as a hub, next you need to go back to admin center and associate other sites to that hub. This is not the case with those channel sites. Those channel sites will be associated to the hub automatically. They are actually already associated to the hub automatically once you register the main site as a hub. So you really don't need to manually associate them to the hub, this will happen automatically. Let me show you just to prove the point. So once again, I'm on the parent hub right now. It's already a hub. I'm going to navigate to my private channel site and I'm going to refresh the screen and look at this. My site is now part of that hub. You see the theme from that parent hub, the 
navigation menu, the hub navigation menu got inherited. So uh, the site automatically, this private channel site is now part of the hub. And the same thing will happen to the shared channel site. I just refresh my screen and once again, uh, it inherits the theme as well as the hub navigation. So you don't really need to associate all those sites to the hub. You just literally register the main site as the hub and those sites will be automatically uh, associated to that hub. The only thing that you will need to do, if you notice, right, those sites do not appear in the navigation. So if you do need to have them in the navigation, then you will need to go to the parent you know, hub and essentially add those links manually. Uh, but that's not what we need here. But now you will notice it says search across sites. And now when I execute a search here, uh, it will now search this main site as well as uh, the other channel site as well. It's probably not going to give me any results now because uh, we have to wait, right? Uh, essentially, I just registered this site as a hub. So it might take a half an hour, an hour uh, uh, for it to recognize those sites. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.